I'm Jerry from Elux Bikes, and if you see this box, this means you've got your Newport off the truck and it's ready to assemble. Here are the tools you're gonna need. Scissors to cut the straps, box cutter to open the end of the box, a 15 millimeter wrench to tighten the pedals, and a four and five and six millimeter wrench for the nuts and bolts on the bike. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open up the box and build the bike. First, just go ahead and cut the straps with the scissors. And then go ahead and look in the box. And you get to see your beautiful Newport bike in the box. So now we're gonna cut open into the box and we're gonna roll the bike out. So what you do is you cut the side and the bottom and then it just folds out. Okay, here's your bike as it comes out of the box. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the handlebars. First you cut the tie wraps. And then keep a trash can handy because there's a lot of materials that come off. Go ahead and remove uh, the materials off the bottom so you can get the uh, get to this and then pull this off the top. And then go ahead and just push this in to hold it in place while you uh, do the rest of the work on the bike. And then go ahead and remove all the wrapping. So here we are, we're installing the handlebars into the bike. All you have to do is slide this into the top and then use a six millimeter Allen wrench to tighten it up. And all we're gonna do right now is just get it to where it's semi-close and we'll come back at the very end and uh, align everything. Okay, and then once we have that, then all we gotta do is straighten out the handlebars. What we do is we tilt them up, make them level, make sure they're centered, and then just go ahead and tighten this up and make sure Tighten the top one, then tighten the bottom one, and then go back to the top and tighten it one more time and make sure it's very tight because that's important for safety reasons. Okay, now we're gonna be removing the wrapping and finish off the rest of the bike. Okay, and that is unwrapping the bike. Okay, so once you get the wrapping off, this is the parts box, and this has the pedals in it. You go ahead and open it up, and the pedals are in here, and we'll go ahead and unwrap them, and there's a left and a right pedal. Um, it tells you right on the end which ones they are, and the left ones go on the left side of the bike. If you're sitting on the bike, that's the left pedal under your left foot, and the pedals, have opposite threads. The left one, you gotta spin the top forward with the 15 millimeter wrench, and the right, you also spin the top forward. Okay, this is the left hand pedal going on the left side of the bike, and the threads, you wanna turn the top of the nut towards the front of the bike, and that's how you screw it in. And I'll put the wrench on it to show you the direction you wanna tighten it. So this left hand pedal, you tighten it this direction. And we're tightening it now with a 15 millimeter wrench. Okay, and then at the very end, you wanna tighten it very tight because if they're tight, they'll never come off for the life of the bike. Now we're going to right pedal, and you want to do the same thing. You want to turn it towards the top, towards the front of the bike. And I'll show you with the 15 millimeter wrench, the direction of tightening. You go ahead and go around this direction. And it's easier to get it in the first 
bit by hand and then just use it for the last, the wrench for the last little bit. And now we'll go ahead and tighten it up the rest of the way. Okay, and then you just wanna make sure it's uh, very tight because that's how the bike lasts. Now we're gonna install the battery. The battery comes in the bottom of the box, in this box. So what you do is you open it up and you have your battery inside, packed in foam, and you remove the foam and pull out your battery. Okay, here's the battery and here's a groove and it needs to fit on the groove on the bike. And there's also an on off switch on the bottom of the battery. We'll go ahead and put the battery in now. And there's an on-off switch on the bottom of the battery, and if your bike doesn't turn on, you need to flip the switch. This is your accessory box. It comes with various parts you need to finish off the bike. It has the cap for the stem. It has, this is a nut cover for the left rear of the bike. This is your straps for the cargo area. And then you get some tools. And then the last little box in here is the charger. And your pedals come in the box also. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna straighten out the handlebars so they're straight for riding. What we need is a six millimeter hex wrench. Go ahead and stick it in there. And then go ahead and loosen a little bit. Go ahead and straighten out the bars. And then go ahead and tighten it up and it needs to be very tight. And then last, we need to put the cap in and it goes in like this. It's a good time to double check that you tighten the handlebars all the way. They were still just a little bit loose. And just make sure these are extremely tight because uh, if you put pressure on the bars, you don't want them moving. And the cables clip right into here. This is a neck cover. It goes on the left side of the bike and you just put it on right here. This is a cargo strap. You strap it on the back of the bike. It goes into the square hole in the bike. And as you can see, it's a square slot and you slide it in there and then pop it up to lock it in place. So now you're ready to ride. So what you do is you turn on the computer and it go ahead it starts up and Once you see it get to this screen, then it's ready to go And usually what I do is for the first ride I turn off the pedal assist sensor turn it to zero and that way when you pedal the bike doesn't go on you When you're not used to the bike um, This is how fast you're going the speedometer and this bar right here is how much battery power you have And the bottom is your odometer I'll show you the distance that you've gone Here's how you turn on the front light. You go ahead and tap this button, turns on the back light, and also the front light comes on. Okay, this is how you turn on and off the rear light. Push that button right there and it turns it on. And of course, if you push it again, it turns it off. Okay, so last thing we need to do is adjust the seat. Usually I adjust it up to about the point of my hip and then just use a quick release here and then tighten it down. And then all you have to do now is get on the bike and hit the thumb throttle, and off you go.